Hey, I'm Shane, and in this video I'm going to do an overview of the last word in Destiny. In this video I'll go over the stats of the weapon, look at the skill tree, and I'll compare the different options that you can choose side by side, and I'll talk about high use of the gun. So first of all, you can get the last word as a random drop or you can buy it from Xur. I've gotten it both ways actually in the same day, and it's pretty painful because I bought it from Xur, and then I did the nightfall and then caught the weapon, so it's kind of annoying that way. But it's not an incredibly difficult weapon I think to get, and Xur sold it a few times. I'll lead off with talking about the looks of the weapon though. The last word is all about flash. From its gold plating to its wooden handle, it's just a classy weapon and it has some unique animations to it too that probably are the most unique of all the exotic weapons. Most notable is the twirl you do when you switch weapons, and I find myself actually changing weapons just to see this twirl. Or before or after I kill someone, I do my little fancy twirling trick and it's just kind of fun to do. The second unique animation is actually when you fire the weapon. Your left hand isn't holding the weapon, but rather it fans the firing hammer on the revolver. And the sights of this gun are pretty basic for a hand cannon, and it has a clear view to see enemies, and there's no difficulty moving from target to target. I have no complaints about them, and the sound of the weapon is very crisp, it sounds like a proper hand cannon, but it's not something that really stands out compared to other weapons like a thorn. The last word is currently the only hand cannon in the game I believe to have fully automatic. And this is honestly something I've never used. This gun has an incredibly high rate of fire, but I always pull the trigger still every time to take a shot, and I just like having that control with a hand cannon. However, the gun has very low damage kinda for a hand cannon, and it's gonna take three to four shots to kill someone online, and that's the only place you're gonna be using this weapon, so don't expect to get very, very quick shots like with the Hawk Moon or the Thorn. It's just going to take three to four shots. The first upgrades you can choose from are the recoils. Or I'll compare those later in the video side by side. The next upgrade is hip fire, which gives you bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. This is pretty basic and it's very useful and this compounds with some of the later upgrades you can choose for this weapon. The next three options you can choose from are single point sling, which allows you to move the weapon faster and then high caliber rounds which gives you oversized bullets which makes enemies stagger but also increases your reload then you got perfect balance which has extremely low recoil of these three they're all good in their own merit but the key one here is perfect balance i say this every review but i love stability and really the last word is all about stability so increasing the weapon's stability is ideal and being able to switch a weapon faster is it's not great because really I don't find myself whipping to the last word even though I do change weapons with it. I'm using a sniper as my secondary so if I'm going to go into a close range encounter I'll switch to the last word before then before I actually get in that situation. In the high caliber rounds staggering a target I'm going to be killing them before I need to stagger them so it's useful and it makes a weapon harder to handle so I don't really find the merit there so perfect balance I think is really the way to go and with my playstyle especially, it's useful, and especially if you're firing from the hip as well. And then that leads us to the final upgrade, which is the last word, and that's the name of it. And this gives you bonus damage and stability, and extra precision damage while firing from the hip. This perk stacks with the hip fire perk and with perfect balance. So aiming is almost unnecessary to kill someone, because you can actually kill someone pretty accurately if you don't even aim down sights. And I find myself taking shots from the hip pretty routinely if I'm close range and my third shot is when I'm aiming down sights so I just start aiming down sights and I start firing. It's harder to get used to but it's very useful. And then I'll compare the recoils. First up is soft ballistics which gives you the most range. Then you got smart drift control which gives you the most stability and then aggressive ballistics which gives you the most damage but least stability. Of these three as usual I'm going for stability so I use smart drift control but it's not that big of a deal in this situation. It's a difference of 30, so it's a larger spread, but aggressive ballistics is pretty good for the damage bonus, especially in PvP, because if someone's weaker, weakened, you can take them out in two shots rather than three, and that's pretty useful. But still, I'd stick with smart drift control because I'd rather place those shots on a target. Next up is really the weapon's downfall, and that's its ammo capacity. It has 8 shots in a magazine. Only 8. And this is pretty crippling, making the gun almost exclusively usable in Crucible. It's fast enough to kill someone, but not fast enough to reload. So really, you can take down 2 enemies with one magazine, 
but no more. And it's very hard because you have to land every shot pretty much. So you really have to have good aim with his weapon and the ammo count is pretty hard to use. So making it in the strike or in PvE, this just won't be useful because this gun, you have to reload every two seconds with it. I'll go on to some general comments I have on the weapon and actually how I use the weapon and that is only in Crucible. I don't even bother with using it in strikes and stuff because it really it's not going to outdo any other exotic or even vendor gear because the damage isn't that high and the magazine's so low that it's just going to be impossible to use. Hit fire is almost useless in PvE. If you're that close to an enemy, you're going to die, so I really don't recommend it in PvE. In PvP, however, is insane. This gun is almost overpowered, I feel. From mid to close range, you can consistently kill someone before they can kill you. It's just, you can get more damage out quicker than them. Only thing that's going to beat you is a shotgun. And really, Found Verdict or Fell Winter's Lie, they can get you, but still, I find myself getting a lot of kills with the last word in situations where other weapons wouldn't have gotten me that kill, because I can just get those shots out so quickly, and my best games have always been the last word. In the Crucible, you'll run into trouble though in the multi-person encounter. Two people, you can handle even though they can kill you quicker, but three people, you're going to consistently die every time. It's just so difficult to get that kill with this weapon, because like, you got eight shots in the magazine, and that's not going to get you very far. So overall, the last word's pretty much indomitable 1v1, and as it is, it's designed to be kind of like an old west shootout weapon, so really this weapon is the gun to use then, and it twirls, like, <laughs> I think that's a very important factor about this weapon is that you can twirl the gun when you're switching weapons, and it's just a lot of fun to do that, so I really recommend it just to see the twirl. It's great online, so I do recommend picking it up and trying to get this weapon, because it's a great weapon to have in your arsenal. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions, just drop them in the comment section. I use this weapon a lot, so I'd be l happy to answer any questions you have. Please consider subscribing though, and if you have any other questions about my other guns, like I have a bunch of reviews up and I'm going to keep doing more. If you want to see another review, just drop a comment and I'm working on getting through all the weapons in the game. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. See ya.